Hello everyone, welcome you all. So uh, today I am starting a series of a top 100 Kali Linux tools with commands. So uh, this series will start uh, starting with the very basic tools of uh, information gathering and up to like uh, every tool like uh, from forensics to reverse engineering to every whatever tool uh, you list like from web penetration testing to wireless attack to password attacks. So uh, there are th uh, tons of uh, tools in uh, Kali Linux and I will try to cover most of the tool that is very much required for being uh, ethical hacker or a web penetration tester so this will be a completely tool based uh, series of uh, becoming a web penetration tester and it will hardly take me around 30 to 40 days to uh, deliver all the 100 tools over here and I am uh, I have also created a WhatsApp community that link I will be uh, sharing in the description so make sure to join that to uh, get the commands cheat sheet and everything uh, delivered to you so today I am starting with information gathering over here so uh, if I uh, come over here over my whiteboard uh, I have written information gathering like uh, if you want to start with any cyber security project or any um, ethical hacking um, things uh, information gathering is the foundation of every successful attack so, uh, uh, so so basically when it comes to information gathering this is the foundation of every successful attack or a defense in cyber security so before a hacker exploit any system or any penetration testing uh, evaluates the uh, security uh, the first and the most critical step is the information gathering that we are going to discuss so in information gathering we are having the multiple tool each and every tool I will be discussing so this is the very first stage of any ethical hacking or any web penetration testing project so this is a very uh, critical phase so uh, information gathering when you go with the information gathering it's also known as a recognition and it is a process of collecting as much uh, data as possible about the target system organization network or any individual before launching any attack or a test so uh, this will like uh, this uh, phase of information gathering will help you out to gather multiple informations like uh, the technology uh, used by the organization uh, then the weaknesses of uh, the technologies that the organization is having then the exposure on the internet like a exposure on internet so all these things you will be uh, getting know while doing information gathering like uh, even some of the internal structure of uh, the internal structure of uh, organization uh, if possible you will be also trying to find it so uh, information that's why information gathering is very crucial phase so it is like uh, it is similar to a thief scouting at any house before planning a robbery so uh, they basically check for the alarm entry points camera routines everything before getting into any system or any organization so similar to that if you are planning for any um, any penetration testing uh, first of all you have to gather as much as information you can gather about the uh, uh, your target so uh, th uh, these are the information you will be trying to collect and uh, if you look for the objectives of information gathering the first objective of information gathering is to understand the target environment like uh, um, how the target is being structured and uh, then uh, you also uh, try to find the possible vulnerabilities or any loophole if there is an organization you try to find and you also try to find like uh, you basically uh, determine the best any uh, best possible way to approach the target like uh, what are their weak, weak points and from which side you can enter into the target or uh, target information infrastructure IT infrastructure so all this information you will be trying to gather and this is what information gathering is and you will be also uh, in information gathering you will be also trying to minimize the risk of or, or minimize the chances of uh, getting detected uh, by being a stealthy because most of the organization whatever you are going to test uh, they must be having the firewall integrated over their system they must be having uh, some IPs and IDs so uh, to get read of all these stuffs you will be uh, trying to uh, minimize minimize the chances of getting detect, uh, getting detected you will be trying to utilize multiple system that can bypass the firewall without getting detected so all these things we will be discussing further in this particular series so uh, these are the basic uh, um, objective whenever you are doing the uh, information gathering and if you uh, look for the types of information gathering we have the two types of information gathering first one is uh, like a passive information gathering and if I go with the second one the second one is uh, 
one second uh, the second is uh, active information gathering so these are the two types of information gathering so if i look for the passive information gathering basically uh, you are collecting the information without uh, directly interacting with the target system so in this type of uh, information gathering is known as the passive information gathering and it is very uh, stealthy and uh, it's uh, like a uh, very difficult to detect uh, detected by the any organization so uh, first if you are starting with any uh, penetration testing most of time you must look uh, for the passive uh, scanning and like uh, if you look for the methods what uh, what tools and uh, techniques it uh, involves so most of time uh, you will be searching for the public websites you will be looking at the social media profiles assessing the public record so these are the steps you will be doing in the passive uh, passive uh, recognition or passive uh, footprinting or information gathering and when you go with the active information gathering like uh, in active information gathering you are interacting directly with the target to extract the details like uh, um, what are the their infrastructure uh, of their network how much computer they are having over their system what are the operating system running over them so all these type of information if you are trying to get it into that uh, you are basically trying to interact directly with the target so this is like uh, this is very uh, riskier also like uh, uh, this is risky also because it can be detected by the firewall or I inclusion detection systems like uh, in this uh, active directory you will be sending some packets to the server to get uh, the idea like how the server is responding you will be scanning the ports by sending some packets you will be doing some of the network mapping so all these stuffs comes under the active scanning so, so uh, let's uh, move to the other point like uh, what kind of information uh, we get uh, what kind of uh, info uh, we will be getting while doing information gathering so first of all you will be getting the domain names first thing you will be trying to find while doing the information gathering is the domain name and then the second one uh, second one will be your ip address this also you will be trying to find it out then you will be also looking for the email addresses of any organization these are the very soft targeted uh, targets then you will be looking for the dns records then you will be looking for the organizational organizational structure then you will be looking for the uh, server types like what are the servers they are running is there any vulnerability in them uh, so uh, all these things you will be looking for uh, and sorry for my wrong spellings uh, so all these things you will be looking for like uh, you will be also looking for like uh, what are their open ports because ports are the way to enter into uh, system so you will be looking for all the open ports and for every uh, everything we are having all a particular tool available over the Kali Linux that we'll be looking for so uh, don't worry like uh, uh, how we will be collecting this information so for every information that you want to collect I will be uh, providing a tool uh, in this particular series so uh, just uh, feel free for that and then you will be also trying to find what are the operating system running over their system if um, uh, there are multiple softwares running so you will be also looking for like what are the software versions uh, running over their system uh, you can also look for like uh, employee details if uh, if possible then you will be also looking for some social media details uh, social media details you will be looking for the leaked credentials uh, if uh, there is any leak credentials over the dark web or any other sites you will be looking for that then you will be looking for some physical addresses and the phone number in some cases so there are th tons of information you uh, need before getting into the organization or before doing a web penetration testing so information that's why information gathering is very crucial phase so all this information you need because until you don't need uh, don't know your target uh, yeah, you can't do anything of your target so first of all you have to gather tons of information so now you will be uh, thinking like uh, why it's important so uh, why it's important to gather the, any information because uh, you might be having like we have a uh, tools to do password attack so directly we will be doing the password attack so if you don't know uh, which type of a software they are running then what the tools you will be utilizing to attack the password because every tool having their own utilization and their own purposes so before uh, you 
utilizing any password cracking tools you need to understand like what are the softwares running over there so that's why getting um, uh, gathering information about your target is very important important like uh, if you uh, gather the inform uh, information it will help you basically to plan the attack very strategically like uh, if you know what are the ports running over there what are the software versions running over there you can plan some vulnerability according to that particular software and uh, that's help in uh, further attacks and once you are having uh, a good amount of uh, information you can reduce the risk of a failure uh, risk of a failure or risk of a being caught will be also reduced it can also uh, reveals the all weak points into any system like uh, it might be running mysql server and it can be uh, some um, previous generation of a version so uh, it can be a little easy to get into that through that particular database uh, port so um, that's how it basically um, helps you uh, information gathering helps you in lot of way so uh, there like uh, if you are into the information gathering first you will be start uh, uh, start scanning to multiple servers then you will be looking for enumerating them then you will be looking for exploitation and the post exploitation too so these are the uh, phases of uh, uh, exploitation and then the post exploitation uh, post exploitation so these are the basic phases uh, in any penetration testing so these are the phases you will be utilizing to attack over any system and that's how it will be happening like uh, uh, when you will be uh, scanning you will you will be needing any ip addresses or domain of your target then for enumeration you will be use the date uh, use the whatever uh, information you gather in a scanning you will be using all this to pull out more details and then in exploitation you will be targeting the uh, you will target the target um, target your uh, victim for identifying the weakest force then in post exploitation you can uh, basically plan on a structure uh, found earlier so that's how it will be going uh, going on so so that's how you will be getting the information so in uh, next part i will be discussing uh, starting with the tools and first tool in our series will be who's uh, who's uh, who's and i have also taken example.com so uh, whose tool i will be discussing uh, in the next part